I want to give a big shout out and greetings to Church of the Rock Harrisonville, the elders and all you in the congregation. I'm Jay Threadgill with Fishers of Men Ministries. You guys have been a support to us for so many years and I give you a give you a big thank you without partners like you uh we couldn't exist in the nation of haiti as most of you know haiti has had a very difficult time the last three years it's just tons of violence gang violence kidnappings certain areas of the city you can't even pass through without you know, confrontations uh, it's a dangerous place but god has us there and we're going to continue church is doing great we're Packing the house on our main service and our overflow service does well. And uh, New Year's Eve, we had a big, big service. We had uh, as many as 6,000 people show up. Uh, 2,000 or more had to stand out in the courtyards and listen and worship God. And we went from about 8 o'clock to midnight. And had several really powerful God moments. And so in the, one of those God moments, God spoke to my heart. He said, I want you to take a great light into the darkness of this nation. And then it, then it came to my spirit that we were supposed to do our annual crusade. Well, we haven't done it in three years because of the violence. And my first response to God was, God, there's no security. And God reminded me that he's our security. Then I said, God, we got no money. And he, God reminded me he's got the money. And so we're going to all our partners to raise a pretty large budget. This is uh, a big event. There'll be tens of thousands by night, and then there will be we'll be ministering to 800 to 1,000 leaders by day. The leadership conference, we supply a lunch each day for them because it's an all-day event. And then the night, you know, we've got to rent platforms, lighting, sound, and uh, have to pay security and all kinds of stuff. So the budget is about $35,000. And so we're going to all of our partners and asking if they would consider sowing a seed offering into this budget. And so I'm asking you guys to pray about it, think about it, and see what God would have you to do. I believe that this is a, a, a major move of God. I believe that God is going to use this as a stepping stone because there ain't nobody doing crusades and there ain't nobody doing conferences because we've been in a high security mode for three years and uh we're going to step out by faith we're going to do a crusade in the evenings and uh and preach the gospel and, and release a great life make apostolic declarations over the atmosphere and believe god for a harvest of souls and uh, at the same time we're going to be able to nourish uh, many many leaders that are i'm sure searching for a good word from god the theme of our conference is the last day's outpouring of the Holy Spirit. We're in it, and, and God's moving. And I believe God has a plan for Haiti, a plan of redemption for Haiti. And I believe this will be an integral part that will open the way for others to begin to follow what we've done and reach out into that darkness and with the light. Because when we, when we carry the light, the darkness has to dispel. And so anyhow, I bless you. I thank you for everything. You guys are awesome. I look forward to maybe coming out and ministering for you sometime soon. And uh, at the same time, I just continue to pray for all you and all our partners. I'm asking for you to pray over us. Pray over this crusade. Pray over this outreach. In the natural, it's a danger. In the spirit, it's a peace. So uh, I'm looking forward to it. I'm excited for the uh, mandate from God. And I'm just thankful for those that are standing with us, alongside with us, and, and encouraging us and praying for us. We love you guys so much, and I just want to bless you this morning, and so I pray. Father, I just pray over Church on the Rock Harrisonville. I pray that you continue to pour out your spirit upon this church, upon its people, and use this church as a great city set upon a hill. Lord, that it be a beacon of light in the dark times, even here in the United States of America. I pray that you pour out your blessings upon them, Lord, and pour out your spirit, Lord, so strong that there'll be signs, wonders, miracles, and and salvations, God. And I just thank you for them, Lord, for all the seeds they have sown. I pray a hundredfold return back to them. I pray it in the name of Jesus and all God's people said, amen. Love you guys so much. We'll talk soon. Bye.